but howdy do. I am Gamerson, and welcome back to Sucker for Love, first date. Though I believe this will be the second date, so there you go with that one. I believe if I just go and load, we can jump right into it. I'm kind of just rolling into the episode this time. The intro for the first one was a bit too long, and uh, these are going to be long games. But yeah, we did all of this last time, and we did just about everything that we could possibly do. There is one thing I would like to do real quick before we actually go into the second date proper, and I believe if I go back to before the preparing the offering... Just real quick, I want to see if, if this is like that a bad ending. Smells... Uh, if I just go for this one... Uh, not this one, my bad. If I just go for this one, yeah. Darn it. Okay, you're right. Okay, so what I have to do is uh, bring her here first. Okay, one second. She's present, right? And so what I'm curious about is if I just go for it, will he just die? Will she just leap across the room like a flying axe and just take us out? Uh, I want to know. I want to know. This is in the... Oh. Alright, that one got me. That one got me. Okay, so it is a bad end. Okay, so now we know uh, what happens. Now we can go... For love. First date. Or the second. Or second. Now we know. Okay, I wanted to know. I just I just wanted to I was curious. I want to get I want to get the bad endings. All right. So, chapter 2. I know my camera's in the way, but it says King in yellow approaches. True endings achieve 0 of 6. So, up here, true endings achieve 2 of 2. All right. So, we're going for six endings. That means you probably got to die like five times, right? Are you going to say it or I got to say it? Two, there we go. The king in yellow approaches. I was waiting. All right, what you got for me this time? In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares, something as inconspicuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most profit, profit. I still can't pronounce words, by the way, profific, pre premonition of doom. Forever the lurid golden light of the planet Cartosa shines, the long wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind that mask lies echoes of decadence and disorder. I can say decadence, but I can't say prophecy, pro proferific. Gotcha. Masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal part. But of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the god king's court, the favored victims of the king's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I don't... Doesn't that... Okay. Hang on. What? What? Huh? Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn. I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was it going to work? I'm standing outside after all. I'll probably was going to work. We're going to work. Yeah, that's gotta be it. And the sun's setting, so it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. Uh, that's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day. Sun up to sundown. That's why. I'm, I don't know. I, I think third shift, you could probably get away with that, right? Like, you're so exhausted because your body just never gets used to third shift. There you go. Put your boss on the line. Put your boss on the phone. Six hours early for my shift, huh? Those sound like church's noontime bells. It's high noon. No way, they must be doing some special evening service or something. I can't, I can clearly see that it's the golden hour right before the sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work. If it's not too late and it's, I really huff it, I should get chewed out instead of fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Oh. Someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed. I'm not absolutely screwed. Are you... Excuse me? Oh, you know, I was going to say, like, looking good, Joker. But, uh, Joker, you look like you got mugged by either a bunch of cherries or that's blood on your chest. In which case, we're not chest bumping. I'll give you the dab. We can high-five it. Maybe a fist bump. Not, not touching you. Hey, man. Sorry to bother you. Or if I really was sorry to bother you, I wouldn't bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would you? Hello? Uh, hey, uh, hey. Okay, I get it, I get it. Look, 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 look. You're here to steal my heart. 
I'm heartless. I let the world die in the other reality, or at least I did in one of the other realities. So you're barking up the wrong tree, buddy. <laughs> this guy ignoring me? No, oh, no, he's not. A, he's looking right at us. He knows we're here. Normally, I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway of this floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him, but this guy is giving me such a weird vibes. The vibe. I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. That odd posture, he's slowly swaying in an uncanny and disturbing way. Uh, the collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotches of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Yeah, I pointed that out minute one, buddy. Does he even live here? Is this the top floor? And I thought I met all of my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. My only choices are to go inside and call the police or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with golden accents. Oh, no. A book? What? Lanetta. But I died. The world ended. Yeah, this is a different reality. I'm something of an expert in dying and coming back, though. So I, 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 can, I can walk you through this, buddy. Hang on. The shock freezes me in place. And because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice the rest of the Phantom Thieves. I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious men's face. No, the Phantom Thieves, you're not allowed in here. I've not played Persona 5, I've seen it though, but you gotta hold on. That's gonna be for a different time, maybe, I don't know. Fumbling with the books, with the locks in panic, I managed to turn on the deadbolt. I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book with my beating chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual, so why am I still here? Where is here? Obviously, that was a, you know, the, what do they call this, a fever dream? You ever have a fever dream, and because you were looking at something when you fell asleep, that was the thing of the dream? There you go. Locked in my room, I have nowhere to run. Lynetta. Lynetta. She's probably not here. If Lynetta was here, she could explain this, but she's not. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on, Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, who? Who is this? Lynetta, you're trying to call. Oh, well, look who it is from the last episode. How did Misty get in our room, though? What are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. But we locked the doors. We were in such a panic. That was a that was a main point of the locks, is we locked the doors. Are you saying you just kind of slithered your way through the crevices? And we should probably be concerned, then. Or do we have like a doggy door and you just fit through there? I just, I don't know. How did you even get in here? Your window is open. Well, that's an option, I guess. Uh, no, it's not. Either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you- Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? Yeah, in a different reality. In this reality, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a new game. It's all, uh, all square. What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed the door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the other things obviously wrong here. Why does she care about those freaky things stalking me outside, or that my room is full of evil idols and uh, 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 ritualistic tokens? Words. I can explain. All this stuff... Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. Do you? You know what this is, don't you? It's a yellow version of the pink book, ain't it? It's a golden version of my book, the book I used to perform rituals for Lynetta. Hers looks way more ornate than mine. Ornate, possibly, that's the pronunciation. Considering an endured reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Uh, wait a minute, the sky, that suspicious man outside, they all match Missy's book. Is she making all this happen? Oh, God. When I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just going to show up with a hatchet or something. See, that's what I went with in the last episode. Missy, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? <laughs> oh, no, the evil anime laugh. Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? Yeah. Yeah, that is true. 
I know all too well, but I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce and that if she gets it right on the first try, so worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. Wow, that's where we're going now, huh? For, I mean, last episode was, oh man, she's smoking hot. Now it's like, oh, she's smoking, gotta go. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself some time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. No, I won't. He will, apparently. Anything? I can be rather demanding. Like on demand? Name your pr buddy, buddy. This is not how you. I got. Oh, come on, my dude. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, Your Highness. But you're shorter than me. That that just doesn't work logically for me. I'm a logic kind of guy. Sorry. When she comes home, she wants to move in, but that means. Whatever, it's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on these. At least one of us is about to die. As you wish, your highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. Your one and only. Then who's going to pay the bills, you? I know apparently she's like a rich girl, but like... That's in that you gotta you, you know like the fine text in the fine text you better be saying oh because I'm gonna cover everything or else I'm not gonna be able to cover anything and this will only last about a month because rent's due on the first so again I'm a logics guy where's the logic sure whatever just a little bit more until I'm sprinting range until I'm in sprinting range of the knife that's actually my bad buddy you're all you're doing you're keeping her entertained while you're going for the knife so you, yeah follow along follow along and number three. You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. Yeah, sure, sure, absolutely, you know. Do you agree to my terms? Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely what? Absolutely not. Absolutely, your highness. <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then... There's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. Whoa, this turn, didn't it? She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. Unlimited power. Just... She, she's not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I've liked you for a long time. And you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. Naturally. There's no reason we can't simply work together. I mean, if that's the case. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? Half of everybody I know. That's what it's all built on is threats and violence, though. And then you got my friends over here in this corner. So. Right. We nearly escaped with our lives just now. We. I. You, look. It would have really been you more so than me, but but something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended under Lynetta's awakening? Yeah, that's that is actually true. That reality doesn't exist anymore. Well, any of those realities don't exist anymore. And how did she get through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that and then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. All right, your highness, I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Being? Could you tell me what this is? Worcestershire sauce. Oh, I love that. That's going to be a running joke, apparently. I posted a picture in the last video. I'm going to post it again, actually. Stuff tastes very good. Tastes like worm watermelon sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? Yep. So you're... <laughs> oh, that's the test now, if you can pronounce it. But I just pronounce... So you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? Because you switched the eye patch. that's why. Isn't it obvious? No human can pronounce worst wor just where worm, worm, watermelons, would would Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. Wow. Why else would it be spelled like that? Brilliant. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> I was careless. Of 
After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Slovenly? I think, like, fancy. To be honest, kind of classy. Nothing's really hanging out or nothing. Like, to be fair, just, you know. Yeah, you should have tried using your Eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? <laughs> what? You think cosmic entities are attractive as a human? Look, if there's one thing that I can tell you about the human race is if you know where to look, you know what parts of the internet to go to, just in general, humanity is in the sum of everything. Uh, so, yeah. 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non euclidean geometry are smoking hot. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. My cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. <clears throat> Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, King in Yellow, Eris the Carcosa. Talent, I'm sure. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually someone I was expecting something a bit more monstrous, actually. Truth be told, she is gorgeous, a bona fide eldritch king in my room. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching an eldritch horror are coming true. An eldritch royalty to boot. The king in yellow. Sounds familiar, I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like Lynetta. Oh no, is that why we got jumped by the discount phantom thieves out there? Oh no, we got jumped by the phantom five-finger discounters because of that. Is oh, well, I guess that makes sense, huh? I kind of <coughs> Sorry. I kind of got swept up in the moment and almost forgot I already pledged uh fealty to a different god. This reality or not. Hmm. Uh wait, I'm sorry. I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. I mean, there's certain loyalties that can't be bought after all. I just really okay, so Lynetta had like pink hair, right? We had pink hair at one point when we put the mask on and did all that stuff too. They have pink hair. Is pink hair just like a running thing with eldritch like horrors and gods? It's like a thing. At least in this. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Well, power. Whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you. I can double it. To be honest, she just uh, kind of offered me company. Truth be told, in the first one, right? Like, she really didn't do anything wrong. She didn't really threaten us all that much, if ever. It was just company. We just kind of chilled. It was actually kind of nice. <laughs> she promised me a smooch. And I shall... What, what, what? So you can double that. So two, huh? You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Because we get two now, because you said you would double it. Just kiss both lips. You heard me, so you'll match her offer then. I, I suppose if that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be uh, arranged. I, I like how that's apparently so shocking to people. It's like, really? That's all? That's all you want? No way, you promised to double it. That's two smooches. I, See, I caught that too. Two of them. On the lips. One each even if you want. Alright, alright, very well. Two smooches lip to lips. Satisfied? I just... Usually my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Of course, I'm a simple guy. I'm not very materialistic. Like, the only kind of want for money I'd even want would just be for financial stability even. Like, you're barking up the wrong tree here. The bar is set pretty no low. Never dared to ask to kiss me before, so she's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Yeah, it seems like a really low cost when you think about it. Scenes. The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the King in Yellow. Huh? You mean this spell book that I was so afraid of? It's just a damn play. Man, you got played, didn't you? <laughs> this thing is just a playbook. 
Where are all the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich oh, to understand? God. No, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. Hey, oi. We have a little class. Oi. To invoke my power, my oi. play must be performed perfectly. Pump the brick. Hocus Pocus was a good movie. If for no other reason than it came out in 1993. Perfectly. I don't always get these uh, scenes right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a wrong scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. And you'll also be killed. Nice. So I'll be famous though. I'll be killed, but I'll be famous in Carcosan. Carcosa. Mimosa? Ah. Uh. I'm getting those smooches no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. I'm gonna break a lot more off in a second. All right, let's see. Perform Act One. Where's the music? Actually, no. We gotta do. We gotta do the talk thing first. We gotta talk a bunch. Hey, Esther. Esther? I forgot how they pronounce their name. My bad. Don't do that. What? All I all I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. There's a reason I am she who is not to be named. Voldemort. A mortal saying Esther summons me to them. Oh, Esther. Okay. If I can't say your name, what am I supposed to call you? You have many options. You may call me your majesty, your grace, my king. Okay, but I'm I'm the god king here, so... <laughs> I know what I'll call you. Your royal highness if you're feeling particularly subservient. That's going to be a no from me. Esther, Esther, Esther. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That. That's great. No, that's great. What is it now? I was just thinking, you know, how saying your name summons yes. you. Yes, what of it? There's an old myth that saying Bloody Mary in the mirror three times at midnight summons an angry demon to your room. Really? I've never heard of such a ritual. Does it work? It summoned my neighbor telling me to shut the hell up and go to bed. So, sort of. <sighs> More questions, dearest? Oh, yes. You want this to be perfect or not? Like, you know, let me just get all the answers first. You read my mind. I was just what wondering. Well, you can only be wherever light is. Does that make you a bunch of light particles or something? Not just any light. Specifically, the light of planet star Carcosa, which moves and shines to my will. Interesting. If Carcosa was destroyed, I would cease to be. The same would happen if the light went out or was permanently blocked. So what you're saying is if something if something threatened that planet, you'd have to defend it. Mainly for your own existence still, but... So in a way, I am the bewitching goddess you see before you. The planet Carcosa and its light. Oh, that makes sense. No, actually, that makes perfect sense. So that makes you a person, place, and thing. I suppose, yes. Well, I know what I'm picking next time I play 20 questions. What? What? Oi. Oi, where'd, where'd they go? Uh huh? Where'd my voice get high? Oh, my door is red. They weren't red last time. There's a couple things in here that just weren't. This is definitely a different reality for sure. All right, let's get on with the, uh, the fun stuff. Can I? Oh, they're gone. Well. All right, let's get... Holy moly, this is definitely different. Invitation setting, exterior, a view of the city. Click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. Oh, so I need to go outside. Oh, this is di so this is actually like different, different. So according to this, what I need to do. Greetings, stranger, fortune, fellow. Tis a party. That's an option? Oh, I guess that's the example of flubbing the words, huh? Load last checkpoint. I see. So that's an example of flubbing the words. Well, that's nice to know. <laughs> I kind of wanted to read it. Uh, so maybe we'll read it first and then we'll go over. Greetings, stranger. Fortune fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow. Oh, is this a rhyme? Hold on, hold on. So, come all ye in ye till, wear thine mask upon you for my masquerade until he may come to lost ye till, hope for us they may be still. Okay.
Oh, crap. The discount. They're back. Dearest. Greetings. Oh, well, it was going to do it anyway, so I didn't have to. Oh, man. Me and doing work that I should. Uh, man. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, stranger. Fortune fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow. So come all ye in ye till. Wear thine mask upon you to my masquerade until he may come to loss you till hope for us there may be still. Shadows lengthen dim streets darken to the curfew thou must hearken why so loudly dost thou bark in the dim city of you till. Only much attention quite unwholesome you'll instill from the souls of poor you till why attract so much ill will. That's a good question. Oh no! Oh no! I'm, I'm so happy we don't have to go line by line, because where would it know that this is over and the other's beginning, you know? That is just what I must seek, see hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. Tis one invitee I seek, he shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow, whose great wealth I shall accrue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king, as whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. All be lost within a night, but reward is worth that price. Well, if you must know... All right, don't mess it up, don't mess it up, don't flub it, don't flub it. Woo! Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I'm decomposing all my friends whom strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. No one, no one's here. Oh, all right. Simply splendid. I naturally do that. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Well, I already died, actually, so... I was tree number four. <laughs> I wasn't aware that was a rule. Me neither, actually, until just now. Uh, it's not. You weren't even the leading tree? Don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. That's a lie. Acting. Oh, you are good. Oh, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. My planet's light in your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. So we should take cover? I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. Night, all right. I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light, or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She literally vanished when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. Uh, that also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing light in. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains? Aw, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Then, you, you know, despite all like the servant stuff and whatever, this she's also kind of nice too, despite that, right? I mean, obviously we die if we mess up the play, but even that, that's kind of simple. That's not like a super, that's not like, hey, I need you to build me a giant fighting robot, even though you know nothing about robotics or engineering or science. You're right, it's just like, yeah, okay. Mm. See, it's actually kind of nice to her. All right. Well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta's hasn't been Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Estir is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Estir, who do I want to smooch, or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? 
Do I stay with Lynetta or do I follow Esther this time around? She is offering twice as many smooches after all. Uh, I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear and use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over by both lanes. It doesn't matter which side of the road who's on. You, you're in the middle, you're getting taken out by both of them. That's not good. As long as they aren't both in the same room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of World Into Calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? Uh, the lipstick, probably? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Ah. That's not that bad. Unless I need to... Oh, do I need to wash that off? Because if I'm uh, objective, perform the calling ritual. <gasps> oh, that probably does not need to be on my face. That's not better. That's much worse. Oh, that's so much worse. Huh, well, um, you know, there's that. To ensure all possible light has been snuffed in the room. So this is the same as it was before. So, oh, so the other one needs light and this one needs darkness. Now here's where the fun begins. But then again, we're not two timing. We're making an elder god harem. Think of it that way. Come forth. There you are, mortal. For what purpose have you? It's us again. Darling, it's you. So you remember us even though it's a different reality. Okay. Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her, despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any- And that's- that's my point. It's like, technically, it was actually kind of just a really nice time. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but... Can you tell me what happened to me, to that world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. So we died, but because that was just a reality, we just got moved into a different reality. Like the multiverse theory, where instead of this choice happening, we made this choice. Okay, cool. Just as I thought, only... Then, why am I still here? Why did I survive when the reset of that reality didn't? Oh, darling, hmm. don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. What do you mean embarrassing? Oh, because you actually did like us. You're still here because I'm I'm still dreaming about you. Aw, that's kind of nice. Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. Aw, that's kind of nice, actually. That's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmetic way. What would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you woke up all woke up at once? Okay. Including all of the gods, would cease to be. Oh, that's horrible. Well, about that, um, that, and that can happen at any time. Uh, don't worry. There's about fifty of us total, so the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. But what if even two of you are uh <laughs> awake at the moment? There's only, like, 50 of you in all? She probably knows Esther very closely. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? Family, D do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Your sister? Your sister? Mm, your sister, you say? Your sister? <laughs> Don't, uh, have a... You don't have a great relationship with her. Absolutely not! We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons! It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward. Whew. Phew, good thing I washed my face. Playboy instincts jumping out uh, here. My goodness, I just did that because I was like, if it was, you know, maybe that was like an accidental seal or something, and that would have been bad. Uh, if we... Yeah. 
If Lynetta saw that lipstick smear on my forehead, I'd be in hot water right about now. Well, I still am in hot water right now, actually. I've gotten involved with her sister. Uh, a messy affair is bad enough, but with a family member. I'm toasted if she finds out. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. Uh, for now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my ass last time. I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh. Listen to myself. What the hell is wrong with me? Man. Oh no. The knife one. The knife. Where's the knife? There's the knife. Out of curiosity, have you dated before? I have too. So I was mainly just wondering what kinds of guys you're into. Well, I kind of have a thing for guys under a billion years old. I know, I know. I'm such a cradle robber. A billion years old? I was talking about humans. What kind of humans have you dated? Uh, Sheesh, were they really that bad? Well, my last human ex hit me with a boat. So the bar is low. Wow, okay. You've dated non-humans, too. Of course. Though, me being single now kind of tells you all you need to know about how those relationships went. You got any stories? I dated the Beholder once. Okay. And how'd that end? Well, in hindsight, I shouldn't have been surprised that a sentient mass of eyeballs was seeing other women. Dang. Okay, well, that's kind of funny, though. Yeah, look who's back, buddy. Still as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my hand now. Forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we can totally have a date date. About, well... Can you open your window? Let a little light in here? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, wait. What? What is it? Uh, you, you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out, like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh no, don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? No, 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 no. It's just like a precautionary thing, you know? Just a tad salty. Heavens below! I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. See, like, she's just so nice. Love you, me, I love you. Yeah, 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 I understand. That was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have came. I would have been a goner. Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolute sure that the window never opens ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. Yes. Yes. This is what I was waiting for. I want consequences. I want cons- <laughs> Still worth it. I want consequences. My whole run in this game is to get as many consequences as I can. That's what I want to do. So we're doing that. Truth be told, actually. So that means, um... Oh, consequences. Oh, so this game is hitting a certain spot for me. I like these, like, choose your own, like, adventure-esque kind of a things, different routes stuff. Uh, you saw it with, like, Detroit. I didn't actually play that game on the channel. Shadow the Hedgehog. Haven't played that game on the channel either, actually. Um, but, like, a lot of that I love that kind of stuff. Love that kind of stuff. But old man consequences. Let's go. Let's keep that this time. Because what I want to see... What's yep, there it is. Head? What's what? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? If it is, will you smooch it away? Because if it is, well, you die here. No way, did Esther leave a kiss mark on my face when she kissed me? I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Lynetta. It's, uh... It's what? Come on, man, just, just, y yeah, you know what? Here's my thing about uh, this particular scenario. Just say like they do an anime where like you slip, fell, and uh, just right on someone's face, I guess. I don't know. Like they do when they somehow f slip into each other. Okay. Say something. It's uh, ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yeah, it's one of the steps needed for your rituals. Oh, really? The book that she knows, probably like the back of her hand, huh? Yeah. Which ritual? Yeah. Uh-oh. It's... It's a secret. I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend. So that I can spare you. She and knows. I want, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. 
Okay. That's just kind of fair, because you're being two-timed, and you kind of have the right to be upset at that point. So, I mean, that's not even like a... You wouldn't care if I had a... Wait, hold on. Yeah, you wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not. Why would I care about that? When it's a race against other gods to amass as many followers as possible, expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. Ooh. Oh, okay. For Grammy Roxanne, it's actually a requirement that you start a big family, or you get excommunicated from a following. Interesting. Grandma Roxanne. I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the black goat of the woods, or the mother goddess of fertility. A fertility goddess, you say? Oh, funny ideas, mister. There's no telling what I'd do if you cheated on me with a family member. Oh, God. Oh, God, Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand. Yeah, okay, so now we're back to on path. So I guess we don't get killed. It's, you know, I didn't think this would actually be a difficult uh, decision because, like, I mean, Lynetta's just nice. I don't know. That's kind of, but, like, we're, 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 we're kind of trying to smooch Elder Gods. We, the Lynetta route is still world-ending, right? Like, reality, it's just now this reality will end, and then maybe we'll appear in another reality, right? Right? That's that's how this works. And the, the Esther route, we kind of don't know, actually, where the Esther route's going. We just, we're just kind of in this limbo right now, and now I have to decide. Do I want, do I want the world to end, or do we continue this quest where I seek all of the lip action that I can get. Right. So. Oh, we, I just, she already appeared the instant I opened the. Hey, Esther. Don't do that. I just did it. What, all I did was say hello. Don't speak my name. Oh. Nope. So, Lynetta is y your sister. Hello, sister. One of our parents is the same. Though we have the same grandparents, so cousins is also technically accurate. Sweet home Alabama. Uh, wait, your grandparents are the same, so both yours and Lynetta's parents are related to each other by I blood? I so. Why? You're inbred? Purebred! The term is purebred, dearest. Right. After all, there's only about 50 of us total. Not unlike a pantheon of gods. Sure. In mythology, Zeus and Hera, husband and wife, were siblings. This kind of thing is only natural when godhood is involved. Sure. Uh, I see. Makes sense. Would do well to remember that ethics, taboos, and social norms between gods are not like yours, huh? No, it wouldn't. It's still, that's still taboo. So white and black in the outer cosmos, they're more pink and yellow. Sure they are. Right, right. And here you are dating a human, right? So where's the logic there, huh? Makeup guide. Backstage in a closed room with a mirror. Prepare the host for scene. <gasps> no, that means we gotta go into the bathroom. Wait, because that's the only place we have a mirror. Oh, no. No, no, this is gonna... Well, you know what? No, I'm excited for this. I want to see where this goes. I'm kind of curious how this is going to work. All right. It sure is. All right, looks like everything is in place. I feel all gu guised up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. If Lynetta is showering in here. I better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand here where the planets align. Planets light can reach me, and I already know what you're gonna say, Your Highness. Yellow is more of your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? Clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. Huh? It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. I feel a twist of metal dig into my temples, yeah? It's stuck to my face somehow. Oh, it's like a springlock suit. Oh, no, Afton. Ow, ow, it really won't come off. <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. From 
Right. In the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. Well, Lynetta's gonna know that. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct. Yeah, how do we eat food? I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes. The in your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. That's great. This is... What do I have to wear this to work? When I see family... When I see Lynetta... Wait a minute. Those strange people outside. They all had masks stuck to them too. Are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that going to be my fate? Yeah. Well, that's uh... That's unlucky now, isn't it? Now, I don't have to actually read this out loud. I just gotta do the first line. Don't mess it up. Don't go too fast. Slow it down. Bad ending. Bad ending, you say? Welcome, company, much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendees have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before Ooh. you stand a goddess, know this guest of Goldenrod is merely the first of the night. They're all outside. I don't know if my ca my camera might be blocking it, but like all of the masked people are just up against the window right now, looking at us. Also, why does she go back to this form when she's performing? I wonder. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. Is that so? Well, if you insist, I'm I'm not going to turn down an offer. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Graciously obeisance, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. All who live in doomed you till will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. Oh no, I think this is like foretelling what's gonna happen, period. Now, of course we survive, naturally. I do have a mask, I'm not gonna go put it on because you won't be able to hear me speak. Well, thank you. You know what, okay, this is the problem. They're all kind of slightly nice in their own way. Ah, that's you're going for world conquest. You're not world ending, but world conquest. Okay. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act this, but this plays in a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Right. He has ambitions of greed, influence, and fame. He dies penniless, alone, and infamous. But that's none of my ambitions. Wait, my character dies. I'm going to die. I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, Tyrus. Yeah. All right, all right. She implying that she thinks my death would be funny. I get that she's an outer god, so human mortals don't really apply to her. But that's got to be cruel even for her. No way I can go through with that. Sorry, I I don't want to die again. Anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However. My wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. Are you sure? So, for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. <laughs> I got they censor. Should I have been censoring myself the whole time then? Like, from now on, would that be more funny? Or is that them just saying, like, hey, some people are going to probably play this on stream and YouTube and we want to kind of be kind of considerate? YouTube does let you curse now, actually. That is the thing. But they don't want, to, like, excessive cursing. But excessive cursing is, like, every other word at this point. Then you'll be demonetized. You're going to get away with a couple words here and there, actually. Um, but maybe that maybe that'd be funny. When I'm going through editing, instead of saying curse words, doing, like, the censor, the censor sound. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, for the scene three, do the following. Retrieve ingredients from cold storage. I can't do that when the book is open, but I can do that. There we go. Uh... Red candles. I've had them on the whole time. 
Allow the king into the room. I wonder what that means. Well, I know what that means. Do not make a mistake or a hungry uninvited guest may arrive. Oh, this one's just a... Oh. Uninvited guest. A hungry uninvited guest, you say. I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. Uh, there must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my fav of my favorite dishes. Wait, hold on. Esther is strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. Do we get to eat you? No. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. And then you'll feed me. What was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the mask stalkers outside? If they all got masks on their faces, they must be Esther's followers. Or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy? Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. Bet they'd kill for the chance to spend any time with Esther. Hmm. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Well, actually, 1,057. So, my blankets are cotton. <sighs> Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. Wow, okay. So picky. If she's that uppity, maybe I'll start with the grapes. Something that'll feed her uh, princess complex. Uh, oh. mm. Delightful. I'm glad. Another. Hey, I think I could have one. Think I could have one of these? Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. Or I could just go for it. Oh yeah, so you won't eat anything my lips have touched either. Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh heavens below, yes. I am pleased by this new attitude of yours, dearest. Watch this. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Hmm, delicious. It's so good. I've never had anything like it. Let me try. Oh, you want a bite, even though my lips have touched it? I, I don't want it after all. Yeah, you do. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Mm, it's real delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What? What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss. <laughs> That's what I thought. What was that? Very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eagerly hands, but instead... I forgot I was hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingertips. It really is delightful. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. Or, my bad. Uh, well, I mean, that's an okay word. I'd do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. I'd tear off my head if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'd hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? You've got it. Now we need to be careful. Almost got offline. Almost got offline. No, we got this. We got this. Here and what? I mean, that was planned. Uh, we're trying to we're trying to die as, as much as possible. Um, so, you know. There's that. What what did I do? Is my and is wearing robes, interior no light besides open window. I thought you want light. That's your whole thing is the light. All right, well, let's try this again. Enters wearing robes and mask. I got all that permanently. So, you know. 
Damn the night, the mournful scone, wicked morning remorse, why tonight must be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled. After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it only still, oh, where my wishes unfulfilled? I'm so tempted to rap these lines, because there's a certain rap structure with this, where you have words that rhyme not just at the end of each sentence, but within the sentence as well. It's so good. Your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die. It's within your grace you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Oh, we're gonna die soon. We're gonna die soon. Uh, 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 oh, this one's long. Why is this one long? No, it's fine. We'll be fine. Rich and guests, you've come to mock me? From amusement thou waste hawking, so... And so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, and hastily depart. Leave these just my broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Ah, that's why. For I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow is on your tail, and whose shadow you're in still. Dark as death is now your tail. Ah. It's fine by me. Oh, oh, is this the last act? Are we actually there already? Er Drawing thy blade from my contusion, my life reaches its conclusion, cruelty matched by your delusion, that you truly are the king. Yes, guess you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? Because I've granted all your wishes, I'm afraid I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. Oh, dang, that's... And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. Yeah, that's kinky. And the strong will fall to illness, haunt you too with unkind stillness, and none left alive to witness my ascension to your till. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still. He heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. But if we die... You can't match the, you can't match the smooches though. Cries unprecedented in the history of your till. Wails unlike they'll ever be again in dark your till. That your invitations uh -oh. fill. Brought the king to black your till. Okay. Bravo, bravo. Thank you, me. I do well. I do good. I do very well. About that. that applause, dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Mm-hmm. Enumerate voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Uh, fanatic revelry, screams of terror and sadistic amusement, all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles. Aren't you proud of yourself? Uh, maybe, if I didn't have a contusion in my gut, it's kind of spilling out. My, my innards are becoming my outsides. It's kind of bad. Vision's going blurry. Why why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm I'm really bleeding out here. <laughs> my blood steams from a gaping wound in my chest, my abdomen is unseamed. Too sure you stay in character. Call it method acting, if you will. Mm -hmm. oh, with sweet sorrow the curtain falls and the show begins. Yep. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Mm -hmm. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. You know, if I don't don't, don't, you know, uh, I got a little sugar as it is. All this blood loss, it's not good. The iron in my diet, it's not there. I'm not gonna make it. You mean the smooches you promised, plural. You said you'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Absolutely, that's all we're here for. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? you darn right. Pucker up. You are... An interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. We'll see about that. Hey, Esther. Don't do that! 
that's not going to get old. That's not going to get old. All right. Well, we got to do this quick because we're not going to make it. There's only The yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed perform the king yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play, the king yellow will cause the performant uh, permanent irreversible obsession with the king, her court, and Carcosa. The insane obsession persists after death. Continue on the next page. If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black fire candles. This will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw the shape below without the X. Well, all right. There you go. Off. Off. Leave that open. And then here we go. Without the X. Um, oh, does this do it? Oh, the black fire reveals secrets. Hold on. <laughs> oh. I like that. So how do we draw the... There we go. The yellow sign. Become my slave. My eternal captive audience. Look, I'm not trying to send me and my people back like 400 years. We got to kind of use a different word there, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, how about... um? Oh, I know. Just my regular name. And we'll call this like... We'll call this like a capitalistic uh, endeavor. In which case, I'll get dental and uh, uh, healthcare and insurance, right? In which case, I only have to work about eight hours a day. Not weekends. Not holidays. And uh, not my birthday. Because you know what? I'm going to feel like liking my birthday. Uh, there we go. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments. Nations. Oh, well, you failed at the Leaning Tower, by the way. It's still there. You tried. Relationships. Some of these husk have been wedding... Uh, have, some of these husk have wedding rings on their fingers. I feel the hearts and minds of the rich are powerful to break them. Litter my court with them like gold dust. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Ah. My, with my sister was one of those things. That makes sense. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of cloud amongst the Nycoing crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. Is that so? At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. Oh, so you lost some things in that reality too, all huh? All my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta, gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. So we fooled your plans. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists. You see, but in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. They're all there. All the husks, they're bleeding from their chests onto their elegant robes, just like me. All these people, why? Why? Because it's what I do. Fair. No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third-willing our moment here? Kick them out. Yeah. Hello, give us some privacy. Yo, bounce. Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Because I'm me. I'm only under the effects of myself ever. Were you... unaffected? Did... did the spell fail? Hi, it's what I do. I make things fail. Welcome to the party. You're a bit late. Now can they... Yo, prying eyes, peanut gallery. We don't need voyeurism. Go. I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me. No. I realized since I first saw you. That's your that's why your little spell didn't work. I guess you didn't realize. I was already all in. <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. That's... that's marriage. Yeah, that just sounds like marriage. No! I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time! 
Yeah, it's marriage. A servitude unlike anything on earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else. Which is the loyalty part of, wait for it, wait for it, marriage. No, we have that on earth, and it's called marriage. It's different! No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It is too! It's not. How so? Marriage. Yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I'm not working, so that means I'm the one at the home. Okay. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. What, like, till death do us part? Until death do us part, even? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. Gotcha. Gotcha. You shouldn't. I, I, I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. I preferred you from the beginning. I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. Save it for a wedding day. Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? Or I could be. He was serious, King and White. Let's go. Ah, man. You know, sometimes it feels good to be gangster. You know that? Easy. Easy clap. Easy clap. Now, I imagine, of course, there's the two other endings. And I wonder... King and White? Wait, hold on. There's three endings for one of the three endings. That's not even the whole <laughs> the whole thing. <coughs> that's great. Oh, that's actually real great. Hold on. True endings achieved one of six. I don't know. If, again, my camera might be in the way, so you might not be able to see it. But it says, true endings achieved one of six. So we'd have to go back to Eldritch Mouth and kind of work through some of the other stuff to be able to see what exactly happens. They might not be as long, though. They might be like quick endings, as a matter of fact. Um, so now we make her go away. We swap back to you. Uh, go back here. There will be consequences now since we've done the Masquerade. Total darkness, you say. Snuff that out. Uh, that's off, that's off. Um, oh, right, get rid of you. And now... Well, I got no choice. I do need the necklace, though. Alright, give me the necklace. Uh, have a ceremonial knife. I think we still have the knife. We still have the knife. Uh, and then here we go I want consequences consequence run can I put that on on top of this really consequence run consequence run consequence run consequence run I didn't put the knife away like hello consequence run consequence run consequence run uh oh, I couldn't get the ritual mask to stay on over my masquerade one. Darling, is everything all right? She's finished with her shower? Uh, yeah, I'm just working on my uh, pronunciation. She's right in front of me. Maybe if I bury my face in this book, she won't notice the mask I fused on my face. The upside down oh, book. Are you stuck on a word? I can help you sound it out. Let me see the page. No, no, I got it. I'm I'm a big boy. Uh, Relithian uh, can't be harder to figure out than English. Oh well. Would probably be easier to read if the book wasn't upside down, darling. Oh, that explains why I couldn't read it. Uh, okay, I think I got it now. Darling, why are you holding it so close to your face? The font shouldn't be that small. Uh, my side has been going for a while now. I gotta pick up some prescription reading glasses, but I keep putting it off. I didn't know you need glasses. I uh, usually wear contacts. But you aren't wearing them now? Oh, I guess not. I must have dropped them on the ground somewhere in the last reality. Darling. Yeah. Put the book down. Oh. Now. Oh, you want to get stern? 
Because that's that's a challenge right there. That's a challenging tone. And now I got a challenge back. That's how I work. I'm sorry. No, this book stays up. That's it. I'm screwed. If she sees this masquerade mask on my face, she'll know I've been meeting with Esther. Think, think, think. Hey, ow. Quick, the bathroom. Uh, will the door hold? No telling if this mask is still on my face when she gets in. So I have no other option. I dig my fingers under the edge of the mask. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, it, it, it's Persona. It is Persona, if you've played, okay. Persona 5, anyways. Feels like I'm pulling my very fingernails off for mil, mere millimeters of leverage. The mask feels fused, uh, the mask feels fused, I guess, to my skin. I'm taking off large chunks of flesh with every pull. This pain, it's unreal. It's do or die. I take a deep breath and pull the mask forward until my skin is taut and there's no more give. Then I... Sounds like you're crushing graham crackers. Why did you lock me out, darling? Heavens below! What happened to you? I... I... I can't even formulate thoughts right now. Whatever happens here, happens. Is, is that why you were hiding your face? No. Maybe. I don't care about any of that. I'm not so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. Lynetta's kind of good, ain't she? I'm here because I like you. No matter what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around me, okay? Lynetta? Shh. Just let me hold you. She's too sweet. This feeling right now almost makes tearing off my face worth it. Almost. Just stay right there. Until you're mentally prepared to continue. Okay. I end up blacking out from the pain, waking up sometime later in my bed. The golden mask was nowhere to be found. Well, how about that? So what happens if I now do this? Huh? Oh, no. Dearest. Uh oh. <gasps> my sister? You did it! Oh dear. <laughs> Look at me, darling. What's going on? Well, obviously your darling has been playing us for fools. You know this because you're that's what your whole thing. You can't even act like you're upset. <laughs> I thought I had you wrapped around my finger. To think you broke your vow of fealty for this slovenly understudy. Wow. Mister, I knew you were a bedazzled dime a dozen hussy that feds the first literate ass kisser that'll sit through your little skits, but I expected better from you, darling. Yeah. Did you really think you were just going to date two outer gods at the same time and get away with it? Yeah. Actually, yeah. That was the idea. Hold on. Did you just call the king in yellow a skit? It is a composition of theatrical genius that a Philistine like you couldn't appreciate if you had another thousand years sleep to mull it over. But if my play is too cultured for your tragically unrefined sensibilities, perhaps you've heard the one about the watery tart who never gets a second date. <sighs> that one is true comedy. Oh, wow. You uppity little... Hey, calm down, you two. There's enough of me to go around. Can't we all just smooch and make up? I guess that's a no. Bad end. Well, let me see if that was one of the uh, the endings, though. One of the routes, because it's still worth it. Metamorphosis. But now there's one way up. So I guess there's probably one up there where if I don't, um, whatchamacallit, I don't summon Esther and I just keep going with Lynetta. Wow, and now there's like a bajillion of these? Okay, well, I don't want to make this episode too long, so we might have to break this off here, actually. We got the king in white, after all, because, you know, we're good at what we do. Um, and realistically speaking, I'm fine getting all these in another episode. It's, it's not over. It's not over. It's, it's definitely not over. But uh, that was definitely, that was fun. So I'm going to end this episode, though. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, again, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know which video will be next. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until next time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching.